Developing right now, Tucson police releasing new video of a now former police officer shooting and killing a man in a motorized wheelchair Monday night. Good morning to you. I'm Rachel McNeil. Everyone, I'm Scott McDonald. This is a story that's tough to hear and watch. Please be advised. The video could be disturbing for some. Team 12's Jess Winters reviewing this body camera video. Jess, what are investigators saying happened that night? Well, you said it. These videos are tough to watch, to say the least. We have both store surveillance and police body cameras showing a man in a wheelchair being shot nine times. We're not going to show you the video this morning, but what I can show you and tell you is what led up to a Tucson man being shot to death by an officer. Tucson police say 61 year old Richard Lee Richards tried stealing a toolbox Monday night from a Walmart on the southwest side of the city. Now former TPD officer Ryan Remington stopped Richards outside of the store with a Walmart employee after alerting him to this theft. When asked to show his receipt, Richards pulled out a knife and said, here's your receipt. Police say Richards then headed toward Lowe's where he alleg allegedly said, if you want me to put down the knife, you're gonna have to shoot me. Another TPD officer met Remington for backup and both warned Richards not to enter the store and telling him to drop that knife. But Richards kept on going and that's when Officer Remington fired nine rounds in his back and his side. We're going to pause the video right here because then Richards slumps over and falls out of the motorized wheelchair from the barrage of shots. To be very clear, I am deeply disturbed and troubled by Officer Remington's actions. His use of deadly force in this incident is a clear violation of department policy and directly contradicts multiple aspects of our use of force and training. Police Chief Chris Magnus, who you heard from right there, says Officer Remington has been fired. He was with the department for four years. The Pima County Attorney's Office is now handling this investigation, so Tucson police say they can't comment any further.